guys after subscribing to this channel please make sure that you also press the bell icon so that no notification no new video of mine any educational video is missed by anybody okay so i welcome one and all in uh, tonight's class i hope it's going to be uh, fun and full of uh, full with a lot of uh, knowledge and information to all of you especially right before the practicals and i'd like to keep it very short and crisp up to the point i would not be wasting the time of my dear students especially the ones who will be seeing the recording of this class so we'll start with the class i have enough of uh, enough number of participants so we're going to start away uh, with the class very soon um at the same time i have to give this announcement guys because uh, so many of you have approached me with the oski and i have i think a bundle of i don't know how many questions of oski i have and i'm making all volumes oski 1 2 3 4 5 6 so um there's been an, a request of oski 3 as well right before 6th february though we are all, already 3rd feb it's this there and i'll try my best to come up with oski 3 at least which in uh, which encompasses most of the confusing questions of oski which have come up till now in the exams though i have been answering my students as they've uh, they've been asking me on the channel on my whatsapp on everywhere so i'm just answering them there and then but at the same time i do understand that the many students would be benefited if i take one more oski so i am uh, going to be doing that like i said i am running a little busy because of couple of things which are going on at my end but nevertheless i have always stood by my students and i would love to come up with an oski right before your exams whether it is a live class or a recorded session just put on my channel but i will come up with the difficult and uh, you know uh, questions of oski and put them up on your channel before 6th feb at least one more i'll try to do that definitely so <clears throat> for uh, as far as now sutures needles are concerned and uh, ward rounds is concerned these are three important aspect which i'm going to be discussing in tonight's class and uh, we'll go a little faster as compared to uh, usual days and uh, this is basically because i have to cover a lot specifically the ward rounds which was not earlier there so now um, not my practical group this these, these three things were um, kind of uh, somehow left so i'm very very happy thank you for all my students for bringing this up and uh, me going to be taking a class for you because there are certain concepts which needs to be absolutely crystal clear in everybody's mind regarding sutures and needles all right first of all uh, not a lot is asked on sutures and needles but the moment you are caught you have no way to go because you are a you know a budding surgeon so you need to know your sutures you need to know your needles and there's a lot you know written about sutures and needles and everything but in practical life you do not need to know that much today's class is all about that what can be asked in your exams and how much you're expected to know all right so let's start we'll start with sutures first because a lot is there for sutures needles is not so much and needles not going to be asked also so much first of all guys quickly just tell me how many of you or your seniors or your colleagues have been asked about sutures and needles how many of you know about this a little bit also like you've been obviously asking your uh, seniors to tell you what came in their viva so how many of you uh, were asked about uh, needles and sutures your seniors juniors anything your colleagues or uh, maybe you are giving it for the second time were you asked about sutures and needles anybody quickly just guys just drop in an answer i hope you all can hear my voice guys uh i didn't ask this question i hope you all can hear my voice can see my screen and everybody is uh, active in the chat box where are my students where are my favorite students the ones who always answer where are they okay all right so fine i don't know you are not answering this question all right never mind so let's go ahead let's start with the sutures okay so i'll uh, try to give you a just a basic gist of what is so important in sutures what thing you cannot miss right so sutures basically obviously you require sutures to bind up away that organ which has been cut or has gotten cut because of whatever reason trauma or during surgery all right basically you're just trying to wind it off back now the most important aspect of the sutures which is the numbering of sutures which is very very important so one is i'll i'll give you a question okay i hope uh, please guys i need you to answer all right i need all of you to answer because that's going to tell me your concepts how much i have to go in depth and how much can i skip 
All right. So can you tell me if I say number one sutra and one zero, which one is thicker and which one is thinner? Number one and one zero. Suppose I say, okay, for this tissue, I require one number one vital. Okay. And I say, no, 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 for this tissue, I require one zero vital. So which one is thicker? Where are you guys? Are you there, anybody? Where's the chat, guys? Please answer, everyone. Yes, now I can see some activity. Good, good, good. So, vicryl number one. Okay, all right. So, when I say vicryl number one, when, when I say one zero, is it the same? Or do you think there is a difference between vicryl number one and one zero? Some one, somebody has written that one is thicker. Okay, number one is thicker. One, one has written it's the same thing. Okay. And zero means, okay, zero means uh, one zero is thicker, is it? Do not ever mind if your answer is wrong. I would love you to have a wrong answer because then you're going to remember it forever for your whole life, right? This is why I always encourage you to answer in, in the class and I want you to be wrong because like I said, that in that way, you're going to remember for, for long. My next table is going to clear your doubts once and for all. That is why I've tried to put it in tabular form. There's got a lot of tables in the PPT tonight because it's, I'm going to give you those concepts crystal clear. No doubt about it. See this, this, uh, this figure. I want you to focus here. This is what you call one zero. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no activity in chat box. Please concentrate everybody over here deeply and clear your doubts once and for all. Thank you so much for replying, guys. But now just see this. This is called one zero. Remember that when I say I want vicryl one zero for this, that means I'm talking about this particular thing. Whenever I say two zero, three zero, four zero, it goes finer, 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 and finer. The more number of zeros, the more finer my uh, suture becomes. And why do I need a finer suture? I need a finer suture for finer tissues. For example, I want to <clears throat> I want to suture the bladder. Okay, I might go for two zero, but if I want to suture the fallopian tube or I want to suture the ureter, they are very pristine, delicate organs. I wouldn't want a finer suture for that. Maybe four zero or even three zero, right? So these are the number of zeros. What I'm saying, the three zero, four zero, five zero. You know, in eye surgery, my husband is an uh, ophthalmologist in eye surgery. They have 10 0, 8 0, 9 0, finest sutures. Now, of course, you have sutureless surgery, but that's the you know uh, level of uh, fine sutures which you can only see through the microscope. They, they operate under a microscope, right? So remember that. If you remember this, then you will remember automatically everything else. So going towards number of zeros, make it finer, finer, and finer, uh, you know, uh, suture. And as you go from, you know, one zero is the one which you uh, use for peritoneum mostly. For, uh, for the uterus, for the rectus sheath, you know what I use? What you have been using up till now? It is number one. Number one vital. You try to use one zero on suture, on, on uh, uterus or try to use one zero on uh, rectus sheath. You're, or you'll, you'll use hold your, uh, you know, your uh, uh, sister or the nurse, or the scrub nurse. You know, it's not a lot of difference, but people who are used to using uh, uh, vital number one find vital one zero a little too delicate. You know, the knots when you start tying the knots, you're used to number one and suddenly one zero slips and breaks in your hand. Okay, you're used to uh, doing the, achha, okay, fine, one more thing, guys. How many of you have seen the uh, knots, uh, the videos that I have posted? I have uh, shown you all different kinds of knots in that. If you've not seen them, please, guys, go to the channel and see all the videos which are telling you about the knots. All right, because these are very, very important basic knots which you cannot mess around with. Okay, so I'm giving you those kind of, um, you know, lectures which are bare minimum which you need for your practical. Okay, you cannot not know these things. Okay, if you know these things and are not able to answer bigger things, no problem, you will pass. The question is the agenda is to at least pass, right? So you, if you do not mess up with these things, you are going to pass. All right, so. Once more, let me just revise this thing to you. So when you're using, it's a slightly delicate, I would say. One zero is slightly delicate as compared to number one. So there are people who say, when, uh, you know, the scrub nurse asks, ma'am, you know, want one zero or you want number one? I have seen surgeons fumble here. Uh, give me anything. 
it's okay and then they give one zero and it's slightly you know a little more delicate as compared to number one when the when they tie the knot using the you know instrument tie they keep breaking in between they keep slipping and breaking right so one zero <clears throat> i would prefer i would prefer number one even for the pedicles and hysterectomy and everything i use i prefer number one maybe for uh, some few uh, tissues i might use uh, you know one zero but usually we carry with one suture it's easy for the, uh, the scrubners it's easy for us number two we've hardly used but what you mostly use is vicryl number one and i hope now you know that vicryl number one is different from one zero one zero has a different diameter see this one and this is slightly thicker so everybody who said vicryl number one is thicker than one zero congratulations you are right the moment i say one zero it is thinner as compared to vicryl number one. there is a this is the favorite question of examiner this is what they're going to ask you in exam here is what they want to confuse you in if i was sitting in the exam as an examiner the only probably question that i'm going to ask a student will be this he, which one vicryl number one or vicryl one zero which one is thicker and why or are they the same the first question so here only i'll decide whether this person knows or not does not know that means you're going to fumble only or you will fail only one one station by one examiner okay again you have chance don't worry now of course you know about absorbable sutures non absorbable sutures monofilament sutures multifilament sutures why do you have this kind of a thing so absorbable sutures also have different right there are some which absorb very fast like vicryl rapid maybe catgut maybe to a certain extent monocryl but there are some delayed absorbable vicryl comes under delayed absorbable pds comes under delayed absorbable okay then there are non absorbable sutures like for example come on quickly tell me what are non absorbable sutures give me some examples yeah guys non absorbable sutures silk proline these are all examples of mercellin tape these are all examples of non absorbable sutures i'm sorry guys but i am not giving you much time to answer because uh, we have to get on to the board rounds faster and i want to spend a little time over there to correct your concepts and to make your concepts uh monofilament sutures see now i'll tell you the concept of monofilament sutures good asha very good uh, monofilament sutures and multifilament sutures the difference is when you want to give a lot of tissue respect to a very delicate tissue you would probably use a monofilament for example ureter fallopian tube peritoneum these are all very delicate structures you wouldn't want to go in for a with a uh, multifilament suture there because when you're threading the suture along there's a lot of tissue hustle when a multifilament suture goes through and a, uh, you know a, a monofilament suture causes least uh, you know tissue disturbance and it causes it causes less of uh, you know this uh, tissue inflammation so monofilament sutures they take less resistance to pass through the tissue and they have less inflammatory response it's right and they tie down easily i wouldn't say tie down they don't get tied down so easily they it all depends upon their memory and their uh, tensile strength uh, which i'm going to be taking next but yes monofilament sutures they do not cause a lot of hustle when they passing through the tissue so the delicate tissues i would say and, and any such tissue where you want less of uh, inflammatory reaction specifically the skin uh, i would say going for a monofilament suture as compared to multifilament multifilament suture i would want at a place where i want you know the suture to have a lot of uh, strength you know for example let's say um, yeah in uterus i wouldn't want a monofilament there there's no need because it's so thick the walls are so thick you bind them together with the multifilament suture they'll give more strength to it and they'll uh, make sure that the 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 you know the edges they do not drift apart they are caught together because of a lot of friction inside correct that's the idea guys anywhere where you feel you've not understood the concept please write it down everybody please sit down with a pen and a paper write down the concepts that you've not got please approach me after the class i'll make sure that i you know clear your concepts okay i'm going to be a failure if i do not clear your concepts in this one hour and i don't want you to give any more to this particular topic okay be clear during the class for this particular topic it's very conceptual at the same time it's uh, it, it does not require a lot of time you do not have to revise this concept okay if you are able to understand all throughout my class with there with me in this class you wouldn't have to give it any other time that's it finish this is one one and a half hour this right now and no more no further revisions